Bum, 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 bum. Got some classical music going on. Classical music. Hopefully, this is uh, all this music playing right now is public domain, so it's good. And I'm back. I was meant to stream yesterday, but uh, I was working, so I took some time off. That's how I've returned. Okay. Gonna finish off this uh, lemur. display toggle <clears throat> excuse me Let's post this on there Ka-plomp. Oh. change info save our comments there we go and close a few windows as well There we go. Let's swing the windows up. Cool. All right, let me set my timer as well. I think I've got. Oh, I don't have. Um... Ooh. I don't have Camtasia installed. Camtasia. Oh, I don't have Camtasia installed. Oh, I do have it installed. Thank God for that. Oh. Okay. No audio on. Okay. Custom. Uh, locked application. Full screen. There we go. Full screen lock. Let's make sure it's saved to the right location as well. <sighs> Gotta make sure my settings are copied across, which they haven't. Temporary folder. Oh, I should probably save that to to my drive. One second, bear with me. I forgot about this completely. Forgot about setting this up. Hmm. In creative, uh, Spicato recordings. There we go. AVI inputs hotkeys. There we go. Pause and shift and F9. Oh, F11 to stop, I think. F11, shift and F11. I think I should do the trick. Cool. 
Stream, sorry, ready to uh, record. There we go, get a bit carried away there. Get carried away myself, talking to myself there a bit. Let's get this in the right position, get those windows ready. Can minimize all this overlays. Uh, set up the screen on this side. I just showed done four. Here we go. Uh, I think it should be okay. Let me just check this. Oh. No, it's frozen. Lovely. Bear with me. Just going to quickly pop up the dashboard on, on my laptop and then I'll continue on. Ah, joys, joys, joys. Give me a second. Uh, connections, dashboard. Here we go. Dashboard taking this time to load up. There we go. Oof, this laptop is really slow, maybe I should just abandon it. some uh, site stuff, off-site stuff. Okay, let me just start recording and then I'll continue start, continue this painting. Actually, before I be do that, let me just do a quick warm-up painter-y doodly doodly. Just wanna get, just wanna get used to, uh, used to doing this. Let's do it now. Uh, there we go. So I'm just using a general brush here. That's fine. That's a really light brush, so that's fine. Very nice. Since eighty percent, yeah. So since moving to Windows Ten, there's a slight difference in the, the way the brush is handled from Wacom compared to Windows Seven. Windows Seven, I felt didn't quite handle it well. There's something about it. Maybe it's just me. It has a silky feel to it, which is nice. It's very nice. I like that. I like that. Okay. Okay, let me just move this window a bit more. Boop. Okay. Hello, Rogue Blazer. Hold all. Okay, let me just switch back to. I think I was using the DG brush for the rendering. Let me just double check. Yeah, well, actually, I, actually, I was using the general brush. No, actually, no, I wasn't. I was using the 
DG brush. DG. I'll stick to the DG brush then. Uh, yeah, that's the brush. That's the brush I was using. And this was DG2. I've got, got, got another DG version of DG main, so here we go. Yeah, it wasn't that, it was DG main. Okay, DG main. This was, this was a DG diamond. Not really used that often. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, not that one either. Yeah, let's use DG there. I think I was using it with with the tip as well. Use a tip as well. Oh, I've just got my pens and stuff on on the keyboard. It's pretty practical, but I like leaving that stuff on the keyboard. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, that's very nice. Usually, it's good to do these little things when you start off painting, so you just get a, a nice mood for it. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to, you know, to paint. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm ready to paint. I think I'm ready. Yeah. Mm. Classic music is very nice, it's very engaging as well. I've got my coffee as well. Oh, yeah, that's 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 good. That's good coffee. Yeah. Delicious coffee. Right. So I think we are ready to begin. I'm just going to start the recording here. Just going to quickly test to see if it stops and starts to stop. So, um, it does. Very good. Cool. So I'm back on the render. There we go. So, I want to try and keep it as close as possible to the uh, design I've done here, so I don't want to lose that nice. Uh, you can see, I don't want to lose that nice uh, values, so I'm going to try and bring some of this back a bit. Oh, I, I forgot. My CPU doesn't like me using that. Uh, keeps doing that constant jump, which is really annoying. I think I may have to to remedy that by buying it the that Ryzen seven or Ryzen nine CPU. It's done it again there. See that little jump. It's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. So so on mine, it's coming down a bit further. So Mm -mm. Yeah. Let me, let me do a little, 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 just give you a little picture or a little potato picture for uh, Dozen Picardo. Oh, a little potato face. So on mine, this area here comes down and it slightly cuts in, so I'm going to try and get that shape in there. Lighten this up a bit more as well. Might stick with using classical music now on streams since well public domain ones since uh, the uh, YouTube and um, Twitch don't like copyrighted material being used. You know, it just uh, ruins everything, doesn't it? Even for background music, you know, it's just a, it's a bit of a, a bit of a shame, really. I might, I might use it for the videos as well, for uh, 
speed painting videos. Might seem a bit dramatic, because that, yeah, that track was pretty, pretty dramatic. Needs. Yeah. Oof. Oof, yeah. Does sound pretty tense. Does sound good. I do like it. Classical music. Oh, I forgot to uh, post on. Um, oof, just remembered. I'll do it now, actually. Uh, Twitch. Twitch link's always good to share. Uh, let me just pause for a second. Paused. And. And. Hey, uh, how's it going, um, Wolf Glasses? How's it going? Evening. How are you today? Yesterday, yesterday we stayed up pretty late. <laughs> Having a conversation, I'm planning to do that some more this evening, so that'd be fun. Have some chill out evening conversation, conversation pleasantries. <coughs> Maybe some, uh, Excuse me, maybe some uh, fallout as well added to it. We shall see. Let's see what it's shape. <coughs> <coughs> oh, okay, you're going to bed. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it's good to stay, have a good sleeping pattern. I was feeling a bit tired this morning, but actually, you know what? I had, a, I had like a good six hours sleep today, yeah, yesterday. So, you know, I woke up at woke up at 11 got some stuff done uh, still lots still a lot, lot of other things to do today uh, to, I have to do today but um, I'm planning to do some more work tomorrow I'm gonna, gonna spend that time learning some 3d stuff as well so that's gonna be fun go for a, for a, have a good run on Fallout 4 today, Return 25, got me in a favourite SMG and from Modern. Okay, that's nice. I, I I might I might go and get that gun, you know, the uh overseer the overseer's rifle. Just give it a, I'll give it a go. See what it's about. Because like I mean you, you said it as well, yeah, it's a good it's a good all round gun rifle. So I might I might just give it a go. Give it a try. See what it's about. Again, if you manage to upgrade to the sniper build with the three away, yeah, I think yeah, the three away is where it's where it's at, isn't it? The damage. Um, I think my gun nut is on um, level two right now, so I, sh I think that's enough. It's not enough to get the receiver three oh eight. Receive. I think you have to get the level three for for the gun for the receiver. I think is that right? The three oh eight. Do you have to do you have to be level four or level four five or what level do you have to be to get the, to get that the upgrade? Because uh, I don't think it's level two. Level three, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I think I'm, I might, I might try and aim for that, and then try and get the gun that up. Yeah, it's very addictive. That's the problem. With this game, the game is very addictive. So I'm listening to classical music, as you can see, as you can hear. Sorry, not see, you can hear it. Uh, I've uh, it's all public domain music as well. So um, from the great masters, musical masters. So it's, it's actually pretty nice. Something different. I like it. You can use it. Uh, you will outclass your hunting rifle if you upgrade it to the right. Yeah, yeah. 
I was I was kind of intrigued about you know when Light Lord mentioned he has he has the upgrade for the explosive you know the explosive tipped guns the gun that looks fun when you, when you, you know when you, when you hit something it explodes and, and obviously if you apply the um, explosive upgrade to it as well the explosive perk as well <laughs> increased damage on explosions that does sound fun blowing people blown blowing enemies up with uh, you know. Obviously, having that bloody mess, you don't, I assume everything just blows up in, on impacts. A lot more fun. A lot more messy fun. Yeah. Oh, let me have... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I should probably put up... Before I continue, let me just post on Twitter that I'm streaming. Tweet deck. I think I'll... Sign in. Here we go. That should do the trick. Yeah. Yeah. 687, right, let's just tweak that. I think I'll put my, I think I'll put my Twitch link up, for, up, oh, up front and um, Help and want copy across. There we go. Stream it. Twitch. There we go. There she goes. Share that. Retweet that onto. There we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, Prince uh, SMG uh, merchant named Cricket. Yeah, uh, yeah, Cricket. Yeah. Put some perks, points, explosives, and commando perk, and the good is one of the best dangerous for me. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm, 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 I think. Once, I guess once you get the strongest weapon in the game, it kind of get, becomes too easy. I guess, like, isn't it? You can kill pretty much every anything or like everything in in a few shots. Or am I wrong? Yeah, she knows. Shuffle playlist. Run loop. Okay, we go back to streamy there. Resume recording. There you go. Diary goal. Got some blue in there. Just some sort of tealish grey. There we go. I'm actually thinking about um, oh, uh, there, are, there are no weapons that are too strong in my opinion. But believe me, at some point you will come to enemies that will beat the snout. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been, I've been. I think based on the armor I've got, I'm still wearing leather armor. I'm trying to be sneaky. I've been killed a few times by rocket launchers. So <laughs> one rocket launcher shot just blows me up, and then that's the end of it. Um, it's just the yeah, it just got me thinking. Like yeah, because because I know like light light light, light, light was telling me oh that's loud. Let me put the volume down a bit on, on the... Ooh. There we go, down a bit. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't want to like own the best weapon in the game, but like, it'd be nice to have something which is fairly balanced. You know, so I can... Enemies will give you, give, give you a good fight rather than, you know, you just walk over them, as you normally do <laughs> in, uh, in, the, in, the, in that game. Yep, I've got, I've got combat armor. Um, I've, I've got some pieces of combat armor. I'm slowly working them up. I've, I've got, I've even got heavy combat armor. Um, that looks good. It looks good, but oh yeah, it's a bit too heavy for me. I might have to bump up my strength to compensate for it. I'm not sure because like because uh, once I get the, once I put the combat armor on, I'm, you know, I get like 280 weight in the, you know. So I think I need to get some strength per, strength points up. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a weakling, weakling character. Just get some, get some uh, strength points up on that. Hmm. Now, now that I'm um, um, not working, I, I, I might try and be on, you know, on, on Discord and uh, 
I might stream a bit earlier as well now, so that means I can stream like at four o'clock my time a bit. So that's a, which, which should be a nicer thing, you know. You can do earlier streams and then that, rather than doing late ones, which would be a bit, bit, bit nicer as well. Uh, uh, strength, strength, and strong back are your perks. You need, and also then lone wanderer. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking of um, venturing into uh, into uh, what's it called into Diamond City just to see what it's about because I've not be actually even been to Diamond City. I've seen the guards. I've seen Diamond City guards, but I've not actually been into Diamond City. So I think I may I may actually venture there, have a little look inside it, wander around a bit, see see if my uh, if if my uh, kidnapped kidnapped son is in there. What we're looking for, the kidnapped, the kidnapped boy. Let's fix that. I think the eye needs a bit more. There we go. I think I'm on level 25 I think I think I'm on the same I think yeah level 25 I think that's where I'm on that's the last I think I think yeah still I think I've still I've still got a lot of places this to, to, to uh, discover as well so I'm, I'm, I think I might just keep discovering things just keep going forward you know look at checking looking up for more things and uh, I I I did have some sunglasses. I did have. I think I have some sunglasses in my stash somewhere. And, and I know glasses give you perception. They give you improved perception. Yes. Yes. Yes, they do. Yes. Yep. I think I think I think that 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 was normal in in Fallout Las Vegas and uh, I'm not sure about three, but I know in Las Vegas glasses gave you sunglasses and stuff like that gave you better vision, you know, better perception. The question is, can you wear? I, I'm not. I didn't actually test it. I, I, I can you wear? Can you wear um, glasses under helmets? Because I'm, I'm wearing I'm wearing a uh, helmet as well. So I'll have to double check that. I'll check that later when I when I play it this evening. Later this evening. Or I might end up playing Phasmophobia. Oh, I forgot about that. Phasmophobia. Yeah, it should be possible. Okay. Now I'll, I'll definitely equip that again. I'll, I'll try. I'll check it out. Oh, because I need to play through. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. So, 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 so today, you, you, have you just been playing Fallout Four most of the day and uh, just chilling out, or what have you been up to? See that? Oh, on my language there, that always happens. So annoying that fucking hard stroke. I swear in there, damn it. Balls. So I could use a, I could use a fur brush here. But then I'll be cheating. Just get that wash back again. There we go. Uh, 
I've been cleaning up my parents' apartment, bought groceries, but then picks up a prescription for my mum after that. Bought okay, okay, okay. So you've been you've been busy, you've been busy. It's good, good. I don't know if you know already. Uh, I don't know if you know the news and stuff. Uh, UK has finally reached tier three, so everything's back on like not a lockdown kind of thing, but everything's all just locked away again so I was planning I was hoping to go I was hoping like this Wednesday or, to, or tomorrow was to go into London and uh, go to a coffee shop but now I can't even do that now it's takeaway only so I'm gonna be stuck at home which is unfair <laughs> I wanted to like go away just want just want to go somewhere and just work on something you know or, or just like focus on something but yeah shame really in, yeah, my week's been ruined, so, uh, so I'm gonna try and just find just find a way to do uh, do my yeah you know, do my own stuff in the house somewhere. Maybe maybe stream in the shed, stream in the shed. We're gonna cancel all Christmas parties. Uh, yeah, in Germany, cancel uh, Oh, well, I, th I think you're happy with that though. Yeah, you know, I think you'll be happy with that then, because then that means no more firework noises and stuff. So that's that's a good thing. It's a good thing for you. Mm. Because yeah, I think we discussed that you didn't enjoy those joyful joyful people that firing fireworks at, near your window, up, your, up to your apartment. This is, looks good. Uh, that muzzle. Might scale that up a bit bigger, I think. Let's make it bigger. So, let's scale it down. Nope. Had a bit bigger. Fly that down. Hmm. It's going to a bit. It's going to add a bit more definition around the eyes, and just want to make it kind of look like close to that's possible. I was meaning to try and stream this today, but like in the afternoon, but yeah, like you man, I was busy doing, I, I did help my parents do some shopping. So we're already planning ahead in terms of what to get for Christmas shopping, you know, get all the, get all the food in and all that stuff, you know, like, not, not, not the chicken and stuff, but like all the usual, you know, like, fr like roast potatoes and vegetables and frozen vegetables and whatnot. Actually, I'm not sure we're bringing frozen vegetables, but like definitely frozen, yeah, the, the, the roast roast potatoes and uh, Yorkshire puddings, Yorkshire puddings as well. But my, my folks love Yorkshire puddings, so I don't know if you've ever had. I don't know if you've ever heard of Yorkshire puddings. It's like a um, like a it's not a pastry, but it's like a um, rounded like it's like a very thin thin. Yeah, I guess it is kind of pastry like sub taste, but it's very thin cups um and you can have it with your you know with your with your meats it's pretty nice a bit, bit um buttery but very tasty very crunchy if done well um usually um it's served with roast lamb or roasts and stuff and you can have it if you put some gravy on it it softens it down um but yeah my, my folks tend to have it with their with their food and it's really crunchy it's very nice and I bought a, a tub of more twiglets, more Twiglets. So I'm really, 
I'm going to be eating some of that whilst I play Fallout. Mm -mm -mm. Fallout, crunchy Fallout. Kind of, kind of getting addicted. Kind of getting addicted to that that uh, twiglet stuff. It's gotta be careful. So I was in the toilet. He's in the toilet. I was talking about. Uh, don't worry. I was just talking about stuff. I was talking about uh, what's it called. I was talking about uh, oh, bloody hell. Yorkshire puddings. That's it. Yorkshire puddings. That's what I was talking about. Tasty stuff. taking shape but try to spend trying to be quick as possible to finish it off I don't want to spend too long on it I mean I think I spent way too long on this one way too long the yeah, ice bit oh Never heard of Yorkshire puddings? Okay, yeah, they're 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 like they're like cup they're like pastry cups things like pastry cups. Served with served with roast roast meat. It's pretty nice, very very. It's, it has a, has a tasty tasty pastry taste. Can't explain it. It's very crunchy. Last oh, keep using the reference window. Oh. Oh, there we go. Reference window. And I want to pop that out, pop out the chat. There we go. At least that way I can still see it. There we go. There we go. Move this down a bit. There we go. Oh, blimey. Keep moving things around, windows around it. There we go. There we go. Keep moving windows around. All right. Back to the painting. I need to do some more work on the uh, horse nun picture as well. Part part two of it. Part three as well. How's it going, John? John Lennington. What up? It's going good. Glad to hear it. Are you looking forward to uh, Christmas? Can't believe it's like a week away. Like we're one week away from Christmas. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, uh, should I probably don't overwatch to do tomorrow in Fallout? I mean, and it's not Minute Men quest line or make clear run through the automation. Oh, well, you can do what do what you, what you, what you think is best. I don't think I have those DLCs so. I've just I've got vanilla, but once I complete vanilla, I think I'm gonna uninstall Fallout 4, and then focus on uh, what's it called? Uh, you know what? I want I, I want to play. I, I should start playing uh, Resident Evil 2, but I'm thinking maybe I should I should um I should get I should get my PC sorted first. Get the Ryzen get the Ryzen 9 in, into this machine because I think the struggle's coming from the CPU. Um, sort of. I'm not really big on holidays, but I'd like to visit my family. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, for me, I'm kind of, I kind of live with my folks, so it's kind of, can't really get away from them, <laughs> but I, I know the feeling, man, you know, you know, Christmas is a time where, you know, everyone comes together, families, got to hang out with them, 
Your stepdad told you, told you something interesting today. Okay, what did he tell you? Do tell. Uh, because you mentioned getting a machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. I'll let you know. My my concern is like my my problem at the moment is if I buy a new machine, my well, my 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 plan is to buy a new motherboard and everything, but <clears throat> but the tower may not support it. The tower itself is an old tower, so it, there's a few things that, for example, at the front I've got USB ports, and it's that, that those ports are plugged into the motherboard, but the the plugs don't support the new the new technology, you know, the new uh, USB three. I think that, I think these are USB two, so. Yeah, it, so basically, if I get a new motherboard, there's, there's the front panel won't work anymore. I, I can't, I won't be able to use it anymore. So that is like things like that, small things like that. But other than that, the tower's fine. But you know, it's just, it's just a faff. It means I just, it means I have to chuck this tower away. And the tower's fine. The tower's, the tower's, you know, it's got like it's got one big giant fan at the top, three at the front, two at the back, and one at the side. So it, it's, it's got pretty good cooling. But uh, yeah, like the panels for it are were, were made for the older generation. You know, it's gone now. But back then, this was like top of the range tower. So it's how see, it's, it's just how quickly technology has. You know, how fast it excels. It makes all the all the stuff that you bought redundant. That's why I'm yeah I'm kind of stuck with the tower, which I can't. I, I don't want to chuck away, but I may not have a choice. But I mean, it's a nice tower. It's a nice tower. Just want to see. Uh, you bought so much, but went to my brother's family and never asked for money. Sometimes, oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's that's. Uh, if if you're if you if if you're getting if you're, if you're gonna get if you're um being offered to, be, to buy a new PC, you know I think you should go for it. Would, would you take would you take that offer? Would you would you accept it? Two thousand euros is for two thousand euros. You can get a really nice machine, uh, Wolf. You get a very nice machine. Um, I'm I'm th I'm thinking of spending like, for me, it's gonna cost me about a grand. Just under under one thousand pounds to get a Ryzen nine, the RAM, and that's it. That's all I need. I just I just need them. It's basically a new board, the RAM, and the processor, and that's it, and and the cooler. So that that should all come under under a thousand because the um, the Ryzen nine I'm getting I'm thinking again is about five hundred pounds. The cooler would be about another seventy pounds, eighty pounds. The board would be another hundred and eighty pounds. And then RAM is, is another eighty pounds, so yeah, just un it'll come under a thousand. So yeah, RAM is freaking important. Yeah, get, see, I'm, I'm thinking of getting thirty-two. I'm thinking of getting thirty-two this time rather than sixteen. Uh, sixteen is fine, but I've, I've t I tend to because because I'm because I do a lot of video editing and stuff like that. It'd be nice to have a bit more memory, and for streaming it's fine. Yeah, streaming is be, be more than enough. But like for the CPU is what's important. The CPU is very important for streaming. Because right now I'm streaming Photoshop and and I'm Photoshop and OBS is running as well and obviously it's it, I can I can feel the struggle the, the CPU is struggling even though it's not even though it's not using the CPU right now it's using the graphics card but this, it it seems Photoshop doesn't like it Photoshop's still fighting around something I'm thinking if I have more, if I give it more power from a better CPU it might not be, be probably be less of a struggle than it is. Um, I'm not sure what's causing it, but it's really annoying. It's really annoying. But it, I mean, once I get it, once I get it, it means I could stream like Resident Evil 2. 
hope you know with with little with little or no effort you know it it wouldn't it wouldn't put a struggle on the performance because that's what you want you want performance um at the same time if you're streaming a game you want to make sure the graphics is not at, you know at, at, at lower settings you want it like a basic you know I'll, I'll, I'll rather stream it on default settings and still have perfect performance rather than putting on the lowest settings with you know because then, then it just doesn't look appealing you know when you're playing it but uh you want to you want to have a get like, i mean right now i'm I'll be, i've been playing fallout 4 on on ultra, ultra settings and it works fine the game works game works totally fine but i guess i guarantee if i stream that at ultra settings then cpu would have a hard time it would struggle because i'm trying to play it yeah oh yes yeah 12 gigs is um yeah i, I know that feeling um yeah you can have to. You can only more more memory, more memory. I mean, I'm, I'm on 16 gigs of RAM, and it, and I'm still running out of memory because I've got, I've, I've closed all windows except for a few windows for for streaming, you know, like YouTube, and um, a few other tabs. But that's it. Nothing. There's nothing else running on here which shouldn't be running. It like. I might, I might, I was tempted to turn off Discord. I might, have to, I might turn off a few other things, but it seems to be working fine. But oh man, it, but if the, what I've noticed, right, doesn't matter how much RAM you have. If you, like, if I get thirty-two megs of RAM, thirty-two gigs of RAM, sorry, um, Windows will still find a way to use it all up. So <laughs> there's, no, there's no escape. There's, there is no escape from um, the RAM usage, which is, you know, it's just ridiculous. But uh, yeah. Nasty, it's nasty, so nasty. Oh, there's a square block there. What was that? The hell? See, there's a square block there. Friggin', this is what I mean. This is what I might. I might slowly start to move my painting work to Clip Studio because I've been. I've been told by someone that Clip Studio um, now supports Photoshop brushes, and if that, that's the case. I'm gonna move on to that and try that, and if that makes it things better, I might just end up painting directly on on through there, and and I'll be so happy. Um, in fact, you know what? Tonight after stream, I, I might just install Clip Studio and test it and get that all set up on this machine, on this uh, so, on this oper operating system. Sorry, because that's the only thing I've not installed yet. I've not installed CSP. It's still on Windows Seven, but I need to re yeah uninstall the license from Windows Seven and bring it over. So hopefully that should make a difference. Um, uh, depending on what browser you use, you can use a bit of lots of like Google Chrome's fine browser. But it's it does it. Well, Google Chrome eats up a lot of memory if you have a lot of plugins installed. I've got I've got, I think I've got about two plugins installed for Chrome, which is like the ad block and uh, the, the the tab saver. So mine saves all the tabs. So sometimes I open a lot of tabs, and I might you know. I'm a, yeah, I'm a bit of a tab hoarder, you know. I'm sure there's a lot of people like me out there as always. Well. Do the same thing. We we hoard a lot of tabs. <laughs> I have like 50 tabs open, and I'm I'm scared to close them all. Close one of them because I might need it later on, which I never, you know, don't know when I'll need it. But it's it, there's always that fear of oh, you yeah, know, I might I might I might need that tab later for some browsing. Oh, for, for for gaming, what I do then, yeah, is I t I close the tabs. I close I close Chrome completely for when it comes to um, uh, gaming. I turn it off because there's there's no point. But if I'm streaming it, if I'm streaming, then I'll need a tab. I'll need at least one tab open. Another thing that I'm doing new, which is new, is like I said right now, on on, on the laptop, I've got this. I've got Picasso Picasso running on here and uh, Streamlabs. Um, Restream chat as well, so I can I can keep I can chat to you guys on the on the um, on the laptop and save all the stuff. You know, don't have to look at you know, don't have to open anything on here anymore. So, which is, which is another way to save memory. Uh, that's what I do. That's what I do. I, I I use I use the the plugin to save the tabs. It saves all the tabs. It, it's, it's like a save state. It's really handy. It's uh, it's called it's called Tab Tab Mate or something. Tab tab mate. Oh yeah yeah I get yeah. I've the problem is like some of these some of the bookmarks some of these pages are basically irrelevant to bookmark. That's 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 why. 
they're like one-off pages like like uh, YouTube YouTube um, YouTube videos on watching the stuff but I've, I've been slow, I've been slowly slowly been using the watch later option on YouTube so so I'm slowly improving my uh, efficiency on uh, not abusing the you know the tab limit and stuff so it's getting there. I'm getting I'm slowly getting out of the habit of having multiple tabs but before you know I used to have a lot of tabs running off. See there? Block. Oh, there we go. Don't know if you saw that there. If you saw that, see it happened again there. See Photoshop likes to just do some type of oh, it happened again. Sometimes Photoshop decides to um or it might be a whack on thing, I'm not sure. It just loses pressure and it just makes a straight hard line, a hard blotch. For no apparent reason. And it ruins my uh painting. I have to try and fix it by doing that. And apparently, um, so this this problem is a known issue between Wacom and Adobe, and o Adobe says it's not their problem, and Wacom says it's not their problem either. So no one knows whose problem it is. So it's <laughs> no one's admitting to the problem. So it's a problem that we have to deal with. Um, Bleeding and annoying. That's so annoying. I'm not sure what causes it, but um, it sucks. So if you don't know if you can hear it or, or not, I'm, I'm listening to classical music. It's on uh, on YouTube. Public domain classical music. Just to save, just to prevent any um, mishaps from uh, Twitch and uh, our friends at YouTube. They, uh, they tell me, you know, because on my last recording, um, my recording, some 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 bits on my recording on stream were got got uh, muted. And hit with a violation, you know, like you can't play this, you can't, you know, play this section of the video because it's, it's got copyrighted material playing through it. So, um, trying to find ways to uh, stream, but also play some nice music, you know, you could have some nice music playing. Seems seem a bit weird. I guess if I'm if I'm streaming just on Picato, that's fine. But then where's the fun in that? You know, gotta 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 reach out to these uh, lovely people in the world on Twitch and stuff like that. Which which remind which basically uh, I hope I'm hoping I'm gonna try and do some more frequent streamings on Twitch. Maybe tomorrow if I can get some squeeze some time in, do like an hour or so, a couple of hours in the morning. Excuse me, in the morning or in the afternoon, whilst learning some 3D. <laughs> so there's a lot of things I want to try and do with my time off. Also need to try and um, need to advertise more on the Patreon stuff as well because I haven't advertised as much. I need to try and push that a bit more, get some uh, support going for that. Soften that up. Get that leg sorted. Get some green in there. Reason for putting greens in here is to get the environmental lighting applied to it as well. I think I'm, what I'm doing here is a bit overkill, but
Yeah. Oh, did you get a chance to um, check out His Dark Materials, uh, Wolf? I think I mentioned that before yesterday, I think. It's an in interesting TV series. Um, it's a BBC TV series, but I uh, don't know if you have access to BBC stuff, but... Uh, might be, I don't know if it's HBO, I'm not sure. Because I'll be watching it, um, not yet. Yeah, check it out. You may, you may, you may find it interesting. So interesting uh, series. get these shapes trying to oh, fucking hell this brush is doesn't like the CPU does not like me using it using so much detail brushes on this OS we'll see what happens if I've got a little line yeah that's good I might just, just make the line vanish in a minute just make it completely vanish away because I don't need it I think one of the tricky things about painting te is getting the textures right, especially if you, when, you, when you're trying to, when you're doing it with one single brush. I mean, you can really cheat here and get like a, a head brush, you know, one, 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 ones which can imitate fur. But then I think that's when you can. Um, I think uh, uh, obviously we'll not, not really considered cheating, but you know, sometimes it's best to master it with just a single brush or a generic brush and see what you can come up with create that illusion of the strands of fur and everything with shape I'm not having to rely much on uh, on the uh, you know digital I mean digital that's you can use it as a tool use it as a tool to your advantage but sometimes it's best to just get the basics right use rely on On color and and color and value to uh, achieve the uh, the likeness. Hmm. I on I on uh, chat there in case I miss anything. All oh, good. All oh, good. Okay. Okay. Given Christmas is coming, I'm going to have to try and think about some Christmas films to watch as well on Discord. Yeah, I might have to start with Home Alone, I think. Maybe Home Alone. 
Die Hard. Oh, actually, I did watch Die Hard on Sunday. I did watch Die Hard Sunday before I went to bed. It was a sneaky, it was a sneaky, it was a sneaky, uh, sneaky movie. It was hella worth it. It was hella worth it. I guess I can put. I guess I can put on uh, Die Hard Two, which is a good follow-on from that. This is what's keeping. Oh, a bit more. There we go. Bit more saturation in the eye. There we go. Bit more. Bit more saturation of light. There we go. That's actually pretty good there. Pretty good there as well. Dude, these shapes are always tricky to do. I'm trying to try and get this uh, shape of Lima right as well. This is a bit of a cheeky one. A bit more red as well, a bit more brown there. Here we go. There we go. Hmm. Mine looks a bit fatter. It's a bit of a fatty. Fatty kind of uh, Lima, but that's fine. I like I like the little fatty fellow. Can we more weight? I'm gonna darken that down a bit as well. Oh, fine. hear it the train is moving by my garden across the garden behind my garden is a, a rail, railway track which transports goods in and out of uh, the city I think it's transferring the same probably cars you get a lot of cars that gets transferred on on those on those train tracks automobiles
Okay. More darker on this side. There we go. This underside, just want to give a little reflection, just a bit more natural feel to it. There we go. Gonna zoom out a bit. I'm gonna fix the background as well a bit as well whilst I'm doing this. So let's get the background sorted as well. Still recording 50 minutes in. So I'm not gonna spend too long on the uh oh what's going on here? I'm not spend too long on the what's going on here? Uh, is this, what's going on here? It's not painting on this layer. What is going on here? Yeah. there so let's just get the <laughs> let's get the background in first I think in fact I think the background should be okay um, don't, 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 don't think I need to mess around with it too much but I'll just soften it up a bit here get these little shapes in because this don't think it's gonna matter here just a little place there yellow got some big yellow in there actually there we go yeah so I don't think it'll matter here too much. I think having that kind of cut plant plant matter coming in here and there should be enough to separate it. I don't want to don't want to um, lose the lose the background as much. But I want to try and just offer some contrast against the uh, against our. Uh, Little friend here. Give him that sh the definition he deserves. So good. Urge to watch um, Goldfinger. I don't know why. I'm going to urge to watch Goldfinger tonight. I don't know if you guys watched uh, 007 yet. Sean Connery, Goldfinger. Good film. So let's actually blend. Let's actually blur this away and see what happens. It's normally I blur the bugger in. So let's see what happens when we blur it. Yeah. yeah. Too heavy. There we go. Just along those lines, and we just hide the line work. 
does the line work? There we go, PG line. So let's just get this foreground in. I'm just going to copy that there. Uh, instead of using this brush, we're going to use the um, chalk, the chalky brush I've been using quite a bit, which has been great for this kind of work. And here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. Uh, this brush is pretty good, pretty cool. Add a bit more red there just to give it that natural feel of the log. I don't want to spend too long on this, but um, oh, it's a hundred percent. What's going on there? Done it again. Where it keeps forcing the line to be loses the pressure of the, the line. Don't like that. Just gonna go and block that. There we go. There we go. A bit more orange to the line. Just a bit of warmth. There we go. Has the music stopped? Where's my music stopped? I was enjoying that. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yes, continue. There we go. There we go. Itchy, itchy eye. Excuse me. Itchy eye there. Actually, this brush is a bit. Let's try the other one. Let's try this grungy. Oh, let's try this grungy one to balance it out a bit. 80% it. There we go. Actually, I don't want that. He that one either. Never, I'm never satisfied with the kind of brush I use. I'm always like trying different brushes, and I feel like, oh, that's not going to work. And just keep trying until I satisfied one of them. Always, always mishmashing them. Never satisfied. Never satisfied. Okay. So, uh, like I said, I'm not going to spend too long on the log, but uh, just want to make just make it sure that's kind of there. You know, it's like I kind of got, kind of got kind of got something, kind of something there. Added a, added a bit of a strong dark browny value there, but keeping it, keeping it really simple. You know, don't 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 make, don't make too take overly detail on this, but enough to you know give that sense of feel that it's a log. You know, give it a little texture here, cuts here and there. You know, just a it's a, it's a lock. You can't really can't really go. I don't know how, how detailed you'll make a, a, a bit of wood, but uh, you know. Here we go. Just a bit more 
shadow here, I'm just under his butt. And under his butt as well. Cool. Right. That is done. Let's go back to the Lima again. And TG main. Okay. So on mine, he's looking a bit up. On that, on on the on the reference, he's looking a bit down a bit. So I could make him look a bit down, but I, I think I might stick with what I've got at the moment. It's only fair. And what's going on? Here? Oh, eyes. Just merge that down. Just merge that down because of the point of keeping it there. Yeah, because mine's looking. Yeah, his one's. That one's looking a bit down. So let's let's just, let's try and make it. Let's try and get it close as possible then. So to make that happen, I have to move this muzzle down a bit, like so. coming in there, structural, same here as well, structural, bring this up a bit, Gotta get it right. I wanna at least try and get it right. dramatically shocking music I like it Ta -da. Try and get these uh, lightings right on the on the brow as well. And then like so. A 
all like that. Yeah. Mm. So I'm done. So I'm got, I haven't got to the detail stage yet. This is just all basically blendering and blendering and rendering out all these little things and yeah, still a lot to go. I'm gonna erase some of these little areas here as well. Actually, if can I erase that? That's part of the render, is it? I think that's part of the render. What I want to do is I'm gonna um, excuse me, copy this up, hide that, I'm gonna flatten this layer out actually without the line work. Yeah, but that line work. What can I? Actually, before I do that, I might have to just. Oh, there we go. Get the, get some of these feet renders in place as well. So get that get some of those hard shadowed areas in here, just to get that in get that in right before I start moving the line work. lighting under the foot as well so I'm going to bring that in a bit so it's going to be tricky to find out what that feet, foot is but for the purpose of study we can uh, abstract it abstract it all in so this shape is this shape coming down here is going to be I'm going, to add, I'm going to add a bit of fur renderer to that, the detail parts, and that will probably hide most of that in compared to the reference. I actually wonder what the song's about. Um, it's really. It's like a story being told. It's very, very uh, emotional, driven. Beautiful. Just gotta listen to that. Just listen to that music. Gives you a sense of. Mm. Right. Let's hide that line layer. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Right, let's let's focus on the detail now. Um, instead of using that, I'm gonna start using the soft round brush, or general round brush, I think. Get some of these details in. Just gonna have a quick sip of the coffee whilst I take a break. Quick break here. Uh, so zoom out a bit. Zoom out. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna pause the recording as well. So we're one hour in. Ah. Hey, Polar Play. Polar Play's 95, hello. How are you today? Cheers. Enjoy my uh, classical music. It's kind of nice. Just gonna quick, take a quick sip of more water as well. <laughs> In a bit fit. Mm. Oh man, that's tasty. Boom, boom. Yeah, so um, I'm getting close to finishing this off. I just got to do the detail side of it. 
which should be shouldn't take long. I say when I say shouldn't take long, I probably will take long. <laughs> I've been streaming for one hour twenty seven minutes so far, so I'm thinking another hour, another hour maybe. I think I should get something out. It's been a few weeks. My drawing has still hasn't gone better. Oh, got to keep at it. You got to keep at it. That's the only way to get good. You got to just keep pushing through those boundaries. I mean, the, the more you spend time with studying, the better you start to, uh, you know, yeah, you, know, you get you, you you start to understand what's going on. I think you have you have to be conscious as well. You have to. Um, the best way to. Uh, Get better at something is to is to know what you're trying to uh, what you're struggling with and how to how you're gonna tackle it. How's it going, Das? How's it going, Chief? Yeah, have have a have a um, have an ob have an objective in mind. What is you, what is it you're trying to um, what is it you're trying to improve on and do a study based on that. So, for example, let's say if you're struggling on let's say struggling on um, drawing perspective, you know, like two point perspective drawings. How, how would you solve that? You know, so you so you write down just 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 make a list of things on on what you make a list of the problems that you're suffering in your drawing. How are you gonna how are you gonna resolve those problems? So, if it's painting, then you have to look, you have to look into how you can resolve painting in you know the problems in painting. If it's color, how are you gonna resolve the problems in painting in color? And then do the studies based on those problems. On that investigation, it's like an investigation, isn't it? And then the conclusion should be, and then do do a conclusion, conclusion of what you've done. Does it fulfil that investigation? If it does, that look like a drawing of Fiona from Shirt Moves with one green skin. <laughs> Fiona, oh, that's an that's an orc orc lady, but yeah, she could be Fiona, Fiona the orc lady. <laughs> oh, Shrek's another good. Oh, Shrek is a film. I think Shrek is a film I need to watch again as well because it's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. Definitely a film I need to uh, get back into watching again. Yeah, Shrek was a good film. Just going to copy that layer. I'm going to close that. I'm going to flatten this layer down. Merge it. I'm going to start, I'm going to start I'm just going to trim off a few things here and I'm going to start refining this down a bit because there are some things I can fix whilst I do the, the detail work. So here comes the detailing now. Just basically just adding lines here and there really. Uh, say it's 100%. Um, got the pressure on as well. So, oh, stupid Photoshop being a goof. How's things with you, uh, Daz? What have you been up to? I see you've been doing some Blender stuff. I was going to learn some Blender today, but I'm, I think I might learn it tomorrow now. Spend some time learning Blender. Do some sculpting in it. Not quite figured it out yet, but you know, got to start somewhere, isn't it? In it. So I'm just adding some details in here. Just, just, just a. Pimp it up, pimp this uh, little fellow up. So I, I like I do like this part of the the process as well. This 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 like the final process, just adding the details here and there to really show. Oh my God, there's a lot. What is that there? Did that occur from? It's a little line there. Photoshop has been a git. There we go. 
Been playing Elite Dangerous and learning a bit more shading and colouring. Oh, very nice, very good, very good. Yeah, Elite Dangerous. How you um, how's your adventures in Elite Dangerous? Have you done anything cool? Any any exploring or mining? There's usual mining things or. Bounty hunting and trading mostly. Oh yeah, that's good. Bounty hunting's good. I'd I'd love to come back to Elite Dangerous, but I think it's, yeah, I need, I, need to, I need to find my flight joystick somewhere. It's somewhere in my room somewhere. My flight joystick. I start flying around and killing things. I'm a bounty hunter as well. You see, I'm a bounty hunter. Make some money from shooting people. Take no lip from no one. Yeah. Oh, see that then again. Bit of red there. Etc. <laughs> Uh, bounty hunting and training mostly, you get 10% more dosh from bounties now. It's something that got you... Oh, wow. They've improved it. They've improved the rate. Normally, what I do, what I used to do, I, I, I did the the events. You know, you, you, you get the community events. And some of the community events involve, involve doing bounty hunting. And if you if you get within the, like, like, like within the top 10 or top 20 pilots, you get, like, a, a, a fat lump sum. I used to love doing that. You get like insane amounts of money from um, community rewards. I think I made like a million. I think I made like a million, almost two million, just doing bounty hunting events. You can just you can just kill things like left, right, and centre. And obviously, I had I had like a really packed up ship as well. So anaconda with all the trimmings, all the delicious trimmings as well, and the fighter pilots. Yeah. It it, it it requires a lot of time like you, you, yeah, you have to be killing like ships left right and center the moment you kill something move to the next target scan them kill them Just move to the next target scan them kill them like that and um yeah it's a bit, it was a bit repetitive but you know it all adds up it all adds up in the end doesn't it all the money but uh See that that line there, white line. See stupid Photoshop. Oh, there again. Look, look at that. Stop doing that Photoshop. Ruining my peep, my study with those stupid things. Oh, jeez, hate that. Hate that. Not sure what causing it, but it can't be fixed. It cannot be fixed. It's annoying about it. Um, I'm you so right now I'm using a generic a general general brush. It's a general general rounded soft rounded brush. Where is it? Um, hang on, let me pause it. Let me pause the recording. It is what is it? A uh, general brush. Uh, brush. Um, yeah, just a general round brush with about seventy eight percent hardness. Just softened it just so it's got soft. It's just slightly soft edges. Um, I've got some. What is it? Um, that's it really, got some noise on it as well, got a bit of noise on the brush as well, so it just has a bit of a grainy feel to it. But, but yeah, just general, it's just, just a, a, a default rounded brush, um, nothing special. I think that's something, that's, you, you don't need a special brush to paint something, you, know, you can paint something with just any old brush, but it's, it's just knowing how to, what, what the brush is doing. But I think, I think Photoshop just, I think Photoshop and Wacom just don't work hand in hand. And I think the CPU can't, is struggling. I'm not sure what's going on, but sometimes you saw there the, the pressure sensitivity just disappears, and it's a common problem. It's a common problem with um, 
with Photoshop and Wacom. This, this happens on CC as well, apparently. So, at least I think so. Um, I'm on CS6 right now, but it's uh, yeah. I don't know what's causing it. Pain in the bum, though. I'm hoping if I get if I get if I get my Ryzen 9, you know, it all goes away. But wishful thinking right now. I'm, I'm, I, I should think about buying it sooner but I'm not actually bothered to think about buying the CPU and motherboard yet oh you got Aaron Blaze ones yeah they are, I've, I've been I've been told Aaron Blaze ones are pretty decent yeah 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 I mean I, I, I mean I like using different brushes there's nothing wrong with them I, I've been using them Dave Greco's brushes as well don't know if you know heard of Dave Greco um, I've been using I tend to I tend to use his brushes for the, the other stuff, you know, the the, the the naughty art stuff, like like the Nick the snake the snake girl I did, that's that's done that's done with his brushes. Um, it's it has a it has a nice edge to it, nice 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 coating to it. It makes them makes them look makes the paintings look look less um, digital, you know. So it's uh, it's worth checking out. I do like I do like his, I don't like, I've been using these brushes more often than anything. Um, I've I've also got a brush pack by um, uh, what's his what's his face? Um, shit, what's his name? Um, let me find out. Let me find the guy's name. I, for, I forgot his name. Uh, uh, yes, he. Uh, what's his name? Oh, I'm going to decide. Uh, his name is. Bear with me. Uh, Ryan Lang. Ryan Lang. He's this. He did some nice paintings. He did a nice. Uh, demo, let, me show, let me show a picture. Of, let me show a picture of, of one of his pieces. Uh, uh, open Photoshop. How do you open? It? Oh, fucking. Open Photoshop. Is it? Can I open it in Photoshop? There you go. There you go. So the demonstration, the demo talks shows how to paint so like, something like this. Um, it gives you the brushes as well. It's got a nice little how to how to basically paint in three like in, in a, like a three D a three D kind of shape, like a three D render. I've got the file here actually. Let me load up the file. There we go. So that's this is part one. Just broken it down, and then there's part two, that same piece. Yeah. So basically, for, yeah, I mean, I mean, he even says for this demo, for this this painting demonstration, he's used uh, simple light, oh, a single light, you know, very default lighting values, and not, no, no, not actual different colors. So it's not, you know, different. You know, he he even says in the video that if if he's using if he's using different lighting, then different environments will would affect the skin and stuff. But for now, he's he's kept it really, yeah, kept it normal. So uh, yeah, it's uh, off there. Well, this is, what's going on here? Let me see. Not sure. What's... Oh, that's his, that's, his, that's his rendered character. Okay, cool. So if I just turn this off, there you go. You'll probably see things disappearing. That's the mouth there. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Oh, hang on. I know why. Is that. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> not sure. Well, was, well, no idea what was going on there. Yeah, there you go. If I, move this, if I move the background down, let me just move the background down, that's probably why. There we go. If I do this, there we go. That's better. Let's just see if we can get a better view of it also. If, we, if, I, if I turn this all off again, there we go. The shell, the legs, front legs. He's, he's using he's, that's, that's, that's a layer adjustment there. Uh, that's another group there. That's from that, This is where the details are, yeah. This is where the, as all the details in, yeah. I've, so I've, I've got I've got the brush for that, which is a smudge. It's a smudge tool to uh, do that. Yeah, and that's the eye there. And then yeah, some hard hard color hard lines for the hair. And then some lighting for that rendering. You know, softer soft outlines on that. Soft outlines for the lighting on the hair. Yeah, yeah, little soft rainy hair lines there. And then he, yeah, I think what he did there, I think he softened there the edges. I think, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, that's what he did. So yeah, yeah. So he, he blurred it. He blurred this, the image out a bit. 
and then um, softened it out a bit. Softened out some of these areas here. See if I turn it on and off. It's just a, it's just just the mask. You just mask that. Uh, yeah, hard to see there, but yeah, it's blurred it a bit. But then masked away the certain areas, so so the focus is on the face. I think more on this than than this. Then add a bit of noise, a noise wash over the picture. If I turn it on, normal. There you go. That's the noise. Put on overlay for sixteen percent. I I I sometimes do that as well. I sometimes add a bit of noise over the finished piece. That this gives it a bit more, you know, natural grainy feel, which is nice. You know, like a film grainy render. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got his brush set uh, with, which came with this on Gumroad. It's really cool, really, really, really cool. Uh, yeah, uh, well, it's it's it, it, it's it's worth it's it's stuff to play around with, isn't it? It's, it's worth trying because I, I know if you do if you do three D rendering stuff, sometimes your pictures you know, when you do, when you do a three D render, certain objects look a bit grainy. You know, so I guess that I guess that idea comes from that, doesn't it? I don't know if, if Blender does that as well. You can do like a grainy film effect kind of render, like, like adding add a bit of noise. I, th I think you can do it for the modifiers, isn't it? For, for the little the little linked tree thing, you can add some modifier to uh, give that uh, you know um, grainy feel. You know, you can probably get away with doing that. But um, yeah, in painting, it's it's another nice way to do that. To apply a little bit of noise here and there just to give it a, some sense of film like feel. But his brushes are really nice. Um, I found his brushes, for, especially for especially for the for the for the skin, you know, the, the the bump skin, the bump mapping on the skin. You can you can do you can use that by doing um, a smudge tool, it's a smudge brush. So if you, if you get some white, some if you get some white, if you get like do like a white splodges and then rub over it you get that you get that look like a bump bump map bump map kind of effect which is pretty nice uh, it's a pretty cool feel cool effect so just add in some uh, detail here just to getting close to finish on oh, I'm trying to get this, this one finished today tonight so should I say and then I can chill out a bit and then think about what to paint tomorrow. I think this this one has been a tricky pose, as well, tricky animal to draw or paint, shall I say, for the fact that it's got so much texture. Um, but it's, it's it's a challenging piece, and I like I like the challenge. Um, it, it 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 shows my weaknesses and what I need to focus on more, and how to streamline my process because I, I find that sometimes I take too long on things because I'm overthinking things and yeah it's easy to, it's easy to, to think you know easy to straight let be led astray and not look at the overall picture so this part here is I'm gonna try and blur it out anyway when, I, when I'm finished with it but I mean, what I'll do as well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soften this, I'm gonna soften this, this curvature out as well when I'm, when I'm, when I'm flattening everything down. Like so, so I'm, I'm, I'm just making little, little um, strokes like that, little boom, 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 that sort of sound, boom, boom, boom sounds as I'm doing these like boom, 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 boom. There you go, like that, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Same here. So, um, have you got any, uh, Daz, have you got anything planned for Christmas? Are you do anything for Christmas? Are you spending time with the, spending time with the family and everything like that? Oh yeah, well, fluffy, yeah, fluffy. That's Kind of fluffy. Lemurs are fluffy critters. Hmm. That's a bit more like my strong value here. Yeah. Gonna see my parents for a couple of days. That's good, that's good. That's good, yeah. That's very good. Hmm. So you're gonna be you gonna be away for a few days then. Seeing the old parents. That's good.
just gonna oh. Can't stand this too long. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Oh. Yeah, I, I I live with my parents sadly. Um, but but it's um it's for me it's um it it makes sense because obviously we live kind of near London, so yeah, it's uh works out cheaper because London living in London is not exactly cheap and. Uh, pretty much used to hanging around with them so but they, they give me my freedom of doing what I want so it is yeah it's crazy expensive it's it's ridiculously expensive um that's why even attempting to live off my art will be nigh impossible but yeah that's probably why I haven't really pursued it because I knew I've kind of known ish that it, to do that you you'd it'll just be crazy it'd be crazy I'd have to move away somewhere where the rent is really cheap. We're talking like like less than less than five hundred bucks a month sort of thing. But yeah, that's to find that in, in UK is yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Um so yeah, I'm sticking I'm sticking with the pro work for now. I mean I, 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 that's what I was thinking maybe if I if I if I spend some time learning a um, bit of a uh, bit of the older blender might be able to get some. Might, might, might be good to add to my roster of skills, maybe for in product design, because a lot, a lot, a lot of places in in London that that look for people that can do three D for you know making rooms or making products and stuff, you know, like three D demonstration products of their products, and doing like animated, you know, animated rotations of 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 their of the product in question. So if it's if it's like a if it's like a handbag or a um, a phone or whatever, you know, you can do a three D model of it. Rotate it around on you know, do a little ten second ten second flip of it or whatever. Companies will companies will happily pay you a bit of money, you know, a bit of freelance money, you know, to make short short things like that. If you can do things if you can do three D things like that, or if you can make um models of their product in three D, you know, then you, you you get paid quite a bit. So that's a, it's a lucrative business for for three D. If, that is, if you want to, if you want to, if you, if, uh, if that's something that's uh, you want to evolve from, evolve. Ah, yeah, yeah, modeling, yeah, modeling assets, yeah, but like, but things like that, modeling assets is like, it is you, 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 gotta, you gotta hope that people buy your stuff. But like, if you're if you're hired to make, if you if you're hired if you're hired to like um to like make stuff, like for example, let's say I'm, I made a like a a phone case, yeah, a mobile phone case, um, and I on a, on a, on a, I want a trailer made for it, you know, you could you could do like a three D, I can probably you can you can probably get hired to make that model, make that case. And then you know, like I do, like a three D rotation of it, and open up and closing how it fits into the phone and stuff. Obviously, you know, fancy things like that. You'd be surprised um, what some people want. And also, like three D three D rooms as well. You know, like demonstration of rooms and stuff, or dem or, or like a three D rend rendition of a um, of, of floor space for an event. People like that. People like that sort of stuff. Demonstration for, for the demonstration videos and stuff. Something to think about. I'm not sure what uh, most of it, mostly event companies would look for things like that. But right now, obviously, event companies are are kind of like in the in the red right now, considering lockdown. But if it all, if it all comes back again, I'm sure they'll be looking for people like that. If you know what I mean? Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Slap him to the squid and Viola. Mm. Not sure what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by Timo Squid? I have to explain that to me. I'm a bit of a dum dum, dummy dum dum. It's a, oh, right, it's a place. Oh, right, I see, I see. It's a place to buy. Okay, okay, I see. Ah, so it's like an online online shop to buy pre-built assets and stuff. I get you. Hmm. Has that has that been your place to make money? Have you have you, have you made like a, a quite a bit? Of, is it been has it been good for you in terms of money making, or is it like a? Is it like it's it's like just a few quid, few bucks here and there? I assume I assume you have to be like a popular model making person to do to make a serious money from that oh yeah patron yeah 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 you got your you got your video game thing yeah yeah that's good that's good I need to like I was just saying before I need to like advertise my patron I haven't really advertised it on anywhere I've got I've got like one or two people supporting me that's about it so i've not really um pushed it so it's, it's, been, it's been going up and down like there had been, I, had, I had people now it's going down again but like i think it's because i haven't really i haven't really um advertised as much and uh obviously people tend to uh don't stick around for long which is fine you know i don't, I don't want i don't expect people to be paying me every oh fuck what do you think come on pay me every so often Obviously, times are hard for you know this year, so I don't, I don't, I don't blame people for not supporting me for long, long periods. You know they gotta, gotta move on. You gotta move on. Advertising yourself always feels kind of odd. Really? Why is that? Why does it feel odd? Why does it feel odd? If you don't advertise yourself, then you're never going to get people, are you? <laughs> how do how will people know that you've got a uh, Patreon? Or well, how do, how do you, how? Yeah, most people say always tell me. People always tell me, oh, like I want to commission you, which is fine. Yeah, I like that. I don't mind hearing that. But I rather them say, can I support you on Patreon? I'll say yes, you can. Yes, you can. Here's my Patreon. Thank you very much. You know. I don't know. <laughs> so it's how, it, p promotion is how you get people aware of your product. You know, like if you, if you, like if if you open up a shop and you don't tell anyone you got a shop, no one will know. <laughs> gotta, you gotta let them know. You gotta let them know. It's like look, hey, this is my shop here. All right, take it easy. Sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Until next time. Hmm. Stopped again. There you go. Beethoven. Mm. Mm 
Okay, we're getting, we're getting there, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Oof, man, detailing can be fun, but it can be a bit cumbersome. I'm, again, I'm just looking for those areas that I'll, I think needs it, and the rest I can just keep abstract. But it's always finding these little kinks. Rogue Blazer, you still there? Rogue Blazer, been you've been really quiet. You've been really quiet, sir. Do not uh, shy you out. Yeah. Oh man, this it's taking longer. I got still got to do, still got to do the feet and the thigh. I might leave that hand out because I think the hand is fine. I think I don't want to spend too long doing these little fingers and stuff because I'll be be here all day. But um, let's get let's get all these little bits and pieces done though. So it's gone gone past two hour mark. So it's going to sit for another hour. So I've got I think I've got about thirty minutes left. I think. there and light brightens up a bit more the lighting there we go that's better
Okay. Let's go leg from leg again. Let's do this again. I'm not happy with the uh, sprinkly lines there. Should be a bit more spread out, spread out like that. Same here as well. Simplify some of these shapes here. detail here. So I'm gonna, once I've done with this, I'm gonna basically flatten it all down and then uh, rework it some more and then I think we're done with it. The eye there needs a bit more. Yeah, a bit more upper. There we go. Mm. Shop, stop being a little crap head.
Hmm. Okay. Little bit of whiskers as well, bit of a little whiskers, a bit of a, there's a little thin whiskers coming out of the sides here. We had the hairline ones. Because let me just double check this uh, PRF. Yeah, the whiskers there. Okay. Hmm, getting close to finishing this off now. So tomorrow I'm going to think about what to draw next. What animal? I want to do a fox again, but I think maybe a wolf. We'll see. I'm thinking more of a fox. Fox will be fun because of this. I do like painting foxes. I don't know what you guys think. If anyone's tuned in, you can uh, have your suggestions. I was happy to listen to possible suggestions on this bit, on that idea. Cool, I think we're getting close to doing, getting this completed now.
just soften this up. We're going to try and do these shapes, these uh, third shapes, I think. Ooh, there we go. Save it. Right, so what I can do now is I'm going to copy this across, group this, duplicate it, and then I'm going to merge this. I should keep the detail, keep that whiskers, I'll keep that whiskers part. Whiskers. I'm going to, I'm going to knock the detail down, knock, flatten the detail and everything down. There we go. Oh, I'll group it, detail it. There we go. So now I'm just going to soften out the ears and then uh, I think we're done. Wow. So now it's 15 minutes. Not bad, not bad. Just going to clean that ear a bit. There we go. Same with this one here as well. I'm just gonna soften a bit. Nope. There we go. Final touches here and there. Cool. I think we are done with this piece. I think. I think we're done. Oh, I forgot the tail. I forgot the tail. Uh, let's do that now. <laughs> the elusive tail. Uh, where's the tail on? Tail's not part of the thing. Our tail's at the bottom, bottom of the piece. So that's good. Separate piece. Because that's um. Because that is on a. Uh, so in the background, I think that could be blurred out as well. So that's good. That's good. Just gonna okay. Sweet. Mm-mm. 
abstract tea because um it's not gonna be visible from the uh, from anything else so put that up uh oh, duplicate that blur and then blur that out oh it's a bit of a heavy blur there I'm going to softer blur. Go see him blur. Yeah, still, um, still a bit more, bit more work on that. So I'm going to do a bit of, uh, of a paint on that with a bit of detail. Like so. Right, let's try again. Let's try adding that blur again. Let's see if it uh, makes it any better. Cause you blur. Oh, oh, hang on. That's still there. Screw that again. Tail. Tail. Look at that. And that. Then we apply our cause blur. Oh, it's still strong. Strong. It's such a strong blur. We need something that's more average than that. There we go. What's you? What's you? What's you? What's you? Off. Probably squeeze that in a bit more. I think. Oh. There we go. Sweet. Okay, now I'm going to fix that back as well because we uh, said I would. So. Just a soft round on that. That just puts us with the, with the proper way of a. Uh, the old brush instead. Percent still, so it's fine. Oh, I should get rid of that. Get rid of that as well. The render applied to there. So I would have stretched it, but uh, better just paint it in. Mm. 
Taking shape, taking shape, like that. Uh, so, got about ten minutes left, but I'm gonna try and finish. This. I think I'll just try and finish this off before I leave, so it'd be better rather than me attempting to, uh, you yeah, know, loiter around a bit too much. Trying to you know just leave and then come back to tomorrow you know, just to be just be a waste of time. Just get it done now. And I think general hard general brush is the best brush for this. Yeah, there we go. No chat's gonna be quiet, so it's fine. So I can just zone in and get this done then. Chat is quiet. It means I can uh, go through it without silence, for concentration, this piece. blur out the back a bit when I'm done with this so just it gives it that nice um, feel that I've worked on it but without Lighting here is a bit, a bit more strong, so I'm going to knock that back a bit. Oh, stupid brush.
Okay. So it's, it's a bit not too dark there. It comes. There we go. Very hippie area. It's really annoying that it keeps doing that. But, uh, I'm not gonna let I'm not, not gonna let get to me. I'm gonna get let not, not gonna let the uh, silly brush, silly Photoshop or whatever it is is causing that to uh, tamper with me. Because of the, the size, is it? Let's do, let's do um, purge all. Yes. I think it's because of the file size. The file size is pretty big. So I'm working on 400. Yeah, I'm prim. Yeah. F oh, wow. 5,000 pixels. That's probably why it's a big image. It's a relatively big image. That's probably why it's struggling to. Uh, That's why. Cool, right, I think we're done, I think. We are done with this picture. Let's do that. Let's get 
nice little washed out brown. Soften this up a bit. Oh. I think I made it, made it look a bit like a tumour than a thigh, I think. That's, that's the. Hmm. Fix that, so I want to try and fix this. So looks a bit sorry. on top of that as well just to make sure I don't really bone up even more the YouTube asking me if I want to continue? Yes, I do. Yeah. Go through a lot of these tracks. What was being tracks? quite on chat so I assume people have uh, gone off and done other things which is fine uh, gives me time to uh, like I said don't work on this a bit more soften that down a bit there we go Less better, less of the look less it look, looks less like a less of a tumour than a thigh now.
There we go. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> As I'll go crazy. So, um, just, just want to say thanks to those that have still hung up. If you're still tuned in, thanks for hanging out with me this uh, stream session. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'll have to look. I'll try and stream a bit earlier because I'm considering at home now, so not working. So good to do some proper for longer streams and get some more paintings done of some sort. But yeah, if you want to hang out with me again, I'll be about. Um, not sure if I'll be streaming in the evening though, because if I do it in the daytime, I won't do it in the evenings. Just trying to since I'm about in the early mornings. So it'll be good to do a bit more more bit more oh yeah streams which are one more awake and more in tune than at night. But uh yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Cool, I think I'm done with this piece. Just, I think I'm done. Okay, if I work any more on it, I'm gonna go frigging crazy. Go frigging crazy. Let's clean that up now. There we go. Yeah. Let that fluff here, just to. Hey Thamina, yeah, oh thanks. Uh, uh, I think I'm done with this. If I work, oh my head's gonna explode if I work anymore, if I do any more on this piece. There's so much little bits and pieces here and there, it's driving me, driving me mad. It has to be a stopping point. I've been paying this pain, I think this is like almost like more than five hours work just for brain explosion. Cool. Let's zoom out a bit. Oh. Hmm. I think the eyes are... See, mine's looking a bit differently, to, a bit away from the camera, which is fine. But, uh... Like making tweaks now. Oh. How are you anyway? How's your day? How's your day been? Zell, thank you for the follow. Wow, oh, didn't see much chat there. Sorry, I wasn't paying much attention to the chat there. Oh. Hello from Tehran, cool. 
Terran's pretty cool, I guess. And I'm from Muchen. Yeah, I'm looking at the chat. I'm looking at the chat now. Sorry, wasn't paying attention. <laughs> the, the chat is on my on my left, so I was, I was kind of zoned in on the painting there. Uh, it has it has been great. Deep familiar work. Nice, nice, nice. What are you doing here? I'm doing a painting study. It's a lima. Painting of a lima. When you've had a busy day, you know, you can always do it from that. Where, 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 where are you from? Where am I from? I'm from the UK. Uh, you can add me on Instagram. You can add me on Instagram if you want. Okay, glad to know your girl. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> well, no. Mm -hmm. And brush bag it up again. Um, okay, uh, are you look Indian, yes, so uh, yeah, I am Indian, yeah, but, but I'm not sure how that's relevant to um, if I'm from England, doesn't really matter. And I'm um, do do, I'm not sure, no idea what you're saying there. English, talk English, the Queen's language, that's how we talk here in the chat. Else, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, Thamina, how did the um, how did the podcast thing go yesterday? Did, did you uh, did you have a good time doing that? Because you had to leave a bit early prior the uh, you know conversation on Discord. How'd that go? Do, 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 do. Gonna fix this foot and then I'm gonna call it a night, I think. Got some Patreon stuff I need to sort out after, so gotta get that sorted tonight before I knock off to bed. Um, it went really well. We got off season. Oh, nice! Very nice, very nice, very nice indeed. I'm glad that went well.
Are you gonna be um are you gonna be dropping by on the voice later? So I'm gonna be ending the stream in about a few minutes. Let's see what time is it now. So, well, yeah, I'm gonna end it probably gonna end it in about five minutes time, so um Because um, gonna chill out for a bit. I have to do this outside the stream as well because um, it keeps making hard strokes. Photoshop keeps making these weird hard strokes on my canvas which is annoying that is you bet you bet okay cool cool we'll, we'll hang out for a bit i was gonna play some um phasmophobia before i go to bed as well because i've been playing i've not played that in a while Nice to get get some spooky spooky session going on that. Ah, why is it not doing what? I swear, I think I may I may just this year next well not this year next year definitely gonna get myself a uh, the i nine. Just getting sick of this CPU just not being able, being able to cope with my demands of painting. Really, really annoying. Let's do my nut in. Yeah, let's stop it there because I'll go, I'll go crazy. Cool, right. Let's end it here for now. I'll be back tomorrow. I might try and stream a bit earlier, but I'm going to jump on Discord for a while and um, chill out there for a while. So yeah, until next time, guys. Keep watching the skies. Keep watching the skies, and I'll be back tomorrow. Till then, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.